Coming up on today's show, it's our Diner Dash. We visited the best diners in Northeast Ohio, recommended by you. So let's dig in. New Day Cleveland starts right now. Welcome to our New Day Diner Dash. You know, there are so many great spots in Northeast Ohio to grab a bite to eat, but Natalie visited one that is a favorite for a lot of people, including a face that might be very familiar to you. Natalie? I'm here at a staple in Chesterland, but you don't have to live here to know about this place. Let me tell you, people come from all over Northeast Ohio, whether it's for breakfast or for lunch. One of my coworkers and friends happens to be inside waiting for me because he's in here, I think, just about every day that they're open. So, you know what this means right now? It's time. Time to what? Time to rise and dine. Here he is. He's, he Welcome. saved the seat for me. Good to see you. <laughs> you. Welcome. I, I had to come to Chesterland to check out your favorite spot. Oh, this is my hangout. It is. Oh, big time. I've, I've seen every post that you, whether it's breakfast or lunch, you're getting here. You love to post it on social media. Oh, you know? yeah. I have to enjoy this food the way that Andre enjoys this food. What's your favorite thing on the menu here? I always tell people if this is your first time to come here, order one of everything. <laughs> And, I mean, and that is my speed. You won't be disappointed. Well, I happened to meet Frank, the owner, mm -hmm. when, which right. was so funny, in Sanda out in Sandusky. Yeah. And he said, you've got to come by the restaurant. I said, I know Andre loves it. I have to try it, too. So I believe Frank has some food. At least I was told that they were ready to go for us. They so are. are you ready for they this? They are. They are. Look at the Mile High Club. Oh, Ooh. my. Your enjoyment <laughs> with a side of mushrooms. OK. Those are the biggest oh, mushrooms I've ever seen. The These are going to be the biggest onion rings you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the sauces. Yep, the horsey sauce, homemade. Okay, I couldn't let you leave because I saw this and I thought we need an explanation for this delicious food. But then I realized there's even more coming up. There's our breakfast. So, so Frank has biscuits the- Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Yes. Okay. And then Kimmy has the Brioche French Toast imported from France. Oh, what? I'm putting this in front of you, Andre. <laughs> yes. uh, now I get it. Now I get why he's in here all the time. How long have you guys been in business? 12 years. August 1st was our, our 12th year. <laughs> when people come here, I'm assuming, yes, the food is something that they come in for, but your staff yes. is truly amazing oh, as well. We've had the same serving staff for quite a while, and people love them, and they specifically ask for certain people. Sometimes I can't deliver, and it's like, no, we're too busy, she's here, or whatever. We have Kimmy, Abby, Carrie's here right now, we have two other ladies, you know, and they love the environment. They love, like Frank and I, our antics, the husband, wife, you know. Of kind course. of button heads sometimes, of and we don't mean anything by it, but people love it. And the food, too, the quality of the yes. food. I mean, you're not skimping on anything yeah. here. No, we get jumbo, colossal onions. We have our big uh, mushrooms. I mean, you see the bread here. We get our breads from a local bakery. Just all top quality. Like he said, this brioche is from Look France, the bread. I've never seen a club sandwich that thick, yeah, and well, I'm not quite sure bacon. how I would it's eat it. Bacon. How do you do, how does one even bite into any of these things? <laughs> Just one at, one at a time, right, Andre? <laughs> you work at it. You put it in the little side. pieces. You have sauces here. Yes. Now, we uh, have this is, sauces. we make our horsey sauce in-house. Okay. So, however you want to go for Have it. you ever tried one of their onion rings? No, I haven't. Okay, you need to have one with me. So, I'm going to go for this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and this is no, like, this is every day. How do you, how do you... Do you just bite, just right, bite, bite, into bite right into yeah. it? <laughs> I see. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Go. There we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. The dough to onion ratio is perfection. This is that small town diner vibe that I think everyone just gravitates yes. towards. You want to be a part of this. Yeah. You want because this is 
family here. Yeah, it's It's been a diner, um, like I said, we've been here 12 years. It's been a diner probably 50 plus years. I love Chester and there's so many little hidden gems here. There is. This is one of them. Rise and Dine, again, is the spot. And on any given day, you just might see this man sitting here either at the bar or over at a table. Or with his son. Sipping on yeah, his coffee. His son will come in. Enjoying family time. Right. right. And delicious food. All right, Andre, you have to help me continue to dig in on this. Delicious All I had food. was the onion ring. Let's keep going. We're going to be here for a week. We're going to be here a long time. But it's okay. I'm ready for the, I'm ready for the challenge. You can visit Rise and Dine Cafe any day but Tuesday. They're located on Chillicothe Road, and that is in Chesterland. Next up, giant pancakes and good service. That's what you can find at Fresh Start Diner. It's just a really good little diner. The building's old, but we do everything we can to keep it nice and clean and welcoming. Uh, open breakfast, lunch only, so we're closed at 2 o'clock, and uh, all my employees get to spend time with their family, which is a nice thing. My dad's the ambassador here now. Uh, I run the day-to-day -day operations. My father comes in and just visits. I did it. And I'm glad I did it. <laughs> and I was a Burger King franchisee for 14 years and get, missed the business. But I said, no more nights, no more, you know, late. So we decided just close at two and enjoy the evening. Just creating a nice family feel here. Um, I got a lot of customers that come in and have met other customers by coming here and now they become friends. Food is delicious. Good pancakes. I get the eggs benedict and their potatoes for the home fries. Potato pancakes and eggs. Our omelets are terrific. Uh, my dad's specialty is our pancakes. They're nice and fluffy, so um, they're also about 10 or 11 inches. And if you look, I get my share of what I'm eating here. <laughs> I love everything about it. The camaraderie, I've met a lot of friends. The food is absolutely marvelous. Oh, it's one of my favorite places. I've been in Twinsburg all my life and I just come here all the time. Twinsburg's a wonderful community. They've really been terrific to us. We're very grateful to be here. Dan really cares about his staff and he really cares about the people here and it shows. You know, there's a lot of places you can go to eat, so when you choose to come here, there's a reason, and that's it. You know, it's, it's Dan and the people that work for him. Did you get that? That is tips for our cooks. It's a little side thing that we do that's pretty fun, that, um, especially when the kids come in on the weekends, if uh, customers want to tip the cooks. Get the, ring the bell, and, and that's one of the cool things uh, that they do to recognize the cooks because it's nice to let the cooks know that they're appreciated. Food is very good, and the other thing is the people are really friendly. Fresh Start makes the best salami and eggs, kosher salami and eggs, in the style of a pancake with challah bread and a side of grits, it's paradise. The grits are phenomenal here. I, you would think grits are the easiest thing in the world to make. This guy knows the secret. Whoa. Home cooked meals. Can't get any better than that. I love the service, I love Dan, I love everybody. Just being able to interact with all these people, um, they become family. I uh, just celebrated one of my customers' eighth birthday at her house. Got one of my old employees getting married in two weeks, going to the wedding, and uh, just the camaraderie you create with these people. They're, they're family. None of them are customers. Everybody's family. I just love being here. Fresh Start Diner is located on Rovetta Road, and that is in Twinsburg, and they're closed on Mondays. Okay, still to come, a family restaurant on its fourth generation. Every day is a new day. Follow New Day Cleveland on Facebook and Instagram.
Welcome back to New Day Cleveland and our Diner Dash. That's right, it's been family run for four generations. Let's take a drive out to Solon to dine at Jim's Open Kitchen. Jim's Open Kitchen pretty much is a stable. It's iconic in, in the city of Solon and it's the most convenient place with good food, it's fast and very tasty, home cooking. Oh, the food's delicious, the service is great. I live right around the corner. You sit down, 10 minutes later, your food's there. Another 15 minutes, you're going home. <laughs> Jim's Open Kitchen has been around uh, in Solon since 1959. My great grandpa started it, it was great grandpa Les, so it was Les's Open Kitchen. Grandpa Jim took over in the 70s, and then uh, my mom and my dad took over in 2000, and then I took over in 2018. So I'm the fourth generation to own this place. I believe I'm the oldest customer. Uh, actually been coming here when Jim's father was the cook and uh, it's been at least 60, uh, 63 years I've been coming to this restaurant. It's a great restaurant, great food, fast, hot, and the service is always great. We've been here for so long and we've, we've definitely become a pillar in Solon. I mean, we've definitely heard that and we love being that for people and we love being that spot where everybody can come and see somebody that they know. You know, everybody that comes in here, they're like, oh my gosh, we haven't seen you in forever. Or, hey, how you doing? It's my teacher from third grade. Because everybody can come in here and see somebody, usually. Or make a new friend. We got all of the basic diner foods, pancakes, waffles, French toast, eggs benedict. We have an excellent eggs benedict. We have omelets, our omelets are really good. We have a new chorizo omelet that's delicious. We just put that on the menu. And your basic omelets, the Western omelet and everything. One of our most popular things is the Jack Special, your basic breakfast, eggs, bacon, sausage, home fries, toast. Uh, we also have a Herb Nelson. That's one of the things we're known for. And it's home fries, eggs, onions, and cheese all scrambled together. You can add all the meats and vegetables, make it a big pile of deliciousness, and then cover it in sausage gravy. Today I had the half order of the ultimate herb. I couldn't eat the whole thing. Over easy eggs, grits with cheese, hash browns, well done with onions, crispy bacon, and one pancake. Egg and cheese croissant. It tastes great. They made it in less than 20 seconds. I thought there was a magician back there, but it's just the chef. <laughs> I always answer the phone, Jim's Open Kitchen in beautiful downtown Solon. Because it is, it's a gorgeous place, it's a nice place, love the people here. I love serving people, I was always the server down here. Um, I've recently started cooking, which I'm new at, but I can do. But I love interacting with the people, hearing how much they love coming down here. We're not just like a breakfast place, like we're also therapists for people, doctors for people. We help uh, take care, we watch kids down here, you know, it's so funny. We're like a safe space for people too. Mom, is there anything else I have to add in? The best thing about working here is working with my daughter. And I get to work with my mom. It is one of the best things, we love that. Mm -hmm. Working with family. <laughs> Jim's Open Kitchen is located on Aurora Road in Solon, and they're open seven days a week, but close at one o'clock daily. The best hash browns around? That's what people are saying about our next stop. Let's go eat at Joe's. Eat at Joe's started in uh, 1992. Uh, my brother-in-law and sister opened it. Lori and Joe Angelo started this because they had young kids and they wanted something they could do early in the morning and get out before they got out of school. So they, this was a perfect place. We were a close family, so I was uh, on the road. I was doing work on the road. And then uh, I had a family, I had a son, and then I decided to uh, start working here. And now I've been here 22 years straight and probably five years prior. 
that that's our like kind of our thing is good food fast. We try to get the food out fast, and it's the same food all the time. We try to, to keep everything exactly the same: the eggs, the hash browns, the uh, toast, everything. When they come in. Ten years from now, it should be the exact same food they're eating right now. This reminds me of the past. This is the way it used to be. The service, the place, it just reminds me so much of the years gone by. We come back because the food is really good. Eggs Benedict. Absolutely. Uh, big breakfast. You, you get eggs, hash browns, toast, and meat. Everything on the menu is good. They have the uh, best Western omelet, and their eggs are excellent. I mean, whatever egg you get is excellent. I mean, I love it. I really do. I come here all the time. The food is great, and the hash browns are the best. They're crispy, and they're perfectly cooked. I'm hands down the best hash browns in the world. The wait staff, they've all been here for years. They know you by name. Um, the service is great, food comes out right away. The hash browns can't be beat. I like the people that work here, you know, they good hearted people, you know. They take care of you, they look out for each other. So I like it here. This is the best waitress in the world. The staff is friendly, nice and friendly, and uh, just a great place, you know, to bring your family. Hey, I've just come to see Denise. <laughs> We try to keep it light, so all the the front and back of the house, they we're always joking around and things like that. As soon as you walk in, you can tell it's a very family-oriented like atmosphere. It's a neighborhood place to go. It's definitely a place to come to. And it's just a great local place. And yeah, we love the atmosphere, we love the food, love the people, see the same waitresses and staff every time we come. The, the help and uh, good food and good prices, so it's a good place. It's a good hometown spot for us. A friend of mine told me about this place, and out of all the places I've gone, this is the best. Eat at Joe's is located in South Euclid on South Green Road, and they're open seven days a week, but close at two. After the break, I'm taking you to one of my favorite restaurants. a suggestion for a segment or story? Email us at newday at fox8.com. Egg and lettuce tomato. Everybody loves a diner, right? We go to diners all over the place, but this is one of those diners that does something a little different, the Grin River Diner. And Jim, what do I come in for and ask for all the time? Fish, fresh fish. So that is wild for a diner. It, it's phenomenal. We sell a ton of fish. We have fried cod, we have uh, steelhead, mussels, we have everything you would ever want. Okay, so let's not get them off the track too much, saying it's just a seafood place, because it's really not. It, what's funny about this is, you come in here, it's a traditional diner in terms of what? Talk about your breakfast, Phil. We start off with breakfast. We have a full array. Everything in, in this restaurant is a, a scratch cook. So all the gravies, the uh, sauces, everything. So when you come to talk to breakfast, our potatoes are punched here. Eggs are freshly cooked. Everything is just fresh at 6 a.m. or at 8, 8 p.m. And that's another thing, yeah, like you get that big fish sandwich if you want. The, the fish sandwich is as big as my hand. Oh, yeah, it's an 8 to 10 ounce cod. You put it on the bun like that. But then you get all the, all the regular the regular egg dishes. Like, Correct. Uh, we, got, we got tacos. We got avocado toast. We have French toast. We have pancakes. The menu is so big that it's not just on a big piece of paper. It's also on a giant chalkboard between every table. So things change a lot until you have specials. Specials. Every, yeah, every day we come up with something very special. And again, it, it's forever changing. Tell them what your hours are here. Right, my hours are Tuesday through Saturday. I work 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then... Uh, Sunday and Monday it is uh, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, so you got to get here sort of early for it. So it's a traditional diner in that respect, but the food is really one of those places where 
I have a hard time choosing. I mean, I, I, I like that big fish sandwich, but there's always something creative on here. Yes, man, and we have vegan options, vegetarian options. We have something for everybody. How about if you want a beer? Well, please, please come here. <laughs> yes, we have we have a full liquor license here. Full liquor. Full liquor license. license. Yes, you can get any kind. We get Bloody Marys and mimosas every every weekend, uh, every day. But weekends we very very sell them a lot. How about your regulars? You have regular people all the time. The regulars come in every day. You know, the first the first two hours, I pretty much have all their the their meals cook even between before the waitresses get there because they just come in every day you know what they want they're you know it, it, they, they're the staple of my business okay we're downtown willoughby right on the corner so what's, what's we're on the corner of glen avenue and erie street okay and, and make sure you get here early because there's always something cooking and don't get here too late because they might be closing well, correct. <laughs> we do close at 8 p.m. I gotta say, you have some of the most fun people to work with too. So, you know, how long has some of the help been here? Well, we've been open five years, and I, I've had people here from day one. Yeah. I've, I've, I'm the most fortunate man alive because I have the best crew. I mean, from from my servers to my cooks, and they're seasoned, so they're very good. Patrons love it. The owners love it. The cook loves it. You can't beat that. It's your Green River Diner. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. Great to see you, Joe. Good to see you. Although they were voted the best breakfast in town, our next stop is known for their baklava. Check out the Enchanted Cafe. Are we ready to order? Yeah. Okay, what can I get for you? I would like the stuffed strawberry. Okay. Coffee's good, food's good. I love the Mexican omelet. Uh, and it's real friendly. A hash brown omelet with egg beater. We got hash browns, some sauteed onions and bacon, and some cheddar cheese. Oh yeah, fold it over like that. Oh yeah, we're good to go. The bell. We had a vacant building here, and we walked in and said, "Oh my goodness, we could do wonders with this place." And we opened in 08. I had elves all over my house. And my husband, <laughs> my husband said, why don't you call it the Enchanted Cafe and put all these beautiful elves in it? So that's what we did. He really did me beautiful. <laughs> we have great coffee. We have great omelets. We have eggs benedict. And we do any kind of eggs benedict you want. We'll do a salmon benedict. Eggs Florentine Benedict, we do a beef brisket Benedict. We have all kinds, all kinds of Benedicts. And Some people will just get broccoli and put the hollandaise on it. Baklava, my mom's baklava. We're Lebanese, so it's not like the Greek. We use a syrup. And uh, she's known as the baklava queen <laughs> of Barberton. They do sell out fast. We actually come here just about every other week. Uh, they have some different omelets here that are very good. The Mexican omelet and their uh, eggs benedicts. The, they get pretty good food. We have been so blessed to have our customers. They're not even customers, they're family. We have been, and they're loyal, they love us, we love them. It's nice, the atmosphere, the owners are very nice, they're always sociable, the service is good, everybody here is extremely friendly. We work hard, but we play hard too. That way it's not work. See you guys later. Okay, love you. Love you. Be safe. Bye. The Enchanted Cafe is located on Norton Avenue in Barberton, and they're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, still to come, we're headed to a staple in Parma. Road trips, recipes, and much more. Go to fox8.com and click on the New Day Cleveland tab.
David and I want to thank Dillard's Beachwood for helping us to look our best every day on New Day Cleveland. Did you know the Eastside location is Dillard's Midwest flagship store? They carry hard to find designer brands in fashion, footwear, home goods, and beyond. Not to mention, you can shop with a personal stylist at no cost. If you like our style, check out Dillard's Beachwood. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland and our Diner Dash. One young man's dream became a success. People drive from all over to visit Jordan's Diner. Take a look. Jordan's, we've been around 13 years and uh, we're, we're a family owned diner that you come in, you are treated like family. People come from Cleveland, come from Toledo. We do breakfast and lunch. We're a big breakfast place because we do it to uh, breakfast all day. So we get a lot of the Cedar Pointers in, a lot of our locals in. They like to come later for breakfast. We got French toast, we got scrambler. Just our breakfast over easy with the eggs. Corned beef hash because it's homemade. It doesn't come out of a can. Uh, business and gravy. One of our best sellers actually is our smoked sausage we do up, which they love. And our portion sizes are always huge here. So it's, it's, it's a great thing. Everybody loves our pancakes, because we just make them uh, larger than life. And we do a lot of specialty items. Uh, we do a lot of smoked food, brisket, and all that for the weekends with your breakfast. Uh, I don't just, yeah, we, we do a lot. Sometimes we even throw ribs in there for breakfast. I've been cooking since I was 16. I opened this up when I was 22. 22 years old, I put my heart and soul into it. When I first started, people to told me I had three months to only you know, last, and now it's just my passion. I love seeing everybody who comes in. We have great chemistry with a lot of the customers that are repeaters. We call some of our customers VIPs because we know as soon as they come in, we already have their order halfway cooked for them because they get the same thing. We're a big family here. You'll see my dad here, you'll see my mom's not here today, but on the weekends you'll see her. We have aunts that come in sometime and help. And it's, yeah, it's just a big family affair. My son started out as a paramedic fireman and there was nothing around here. He came by this place and said, hey dad, I want to open up a restaurant. So I wasn't going to discourage him. He had a lot of people saying, oh, I ain't going to work. He, you know, I'll give you a three to six months and you're going to be closed in 13 years. And I tell you what, he puts us every day he's here till four or five o'clock. He, uh, he does everything. We got all family working here. My wife works on Friday to Sunday. My granddaughter, my grandson works here. I work here too. I uh, come in here of the morning and help out a little bit. And uh, just like talking to the people. Well, there's a lot of them that we know by name and they're in here every day and we pack them in every day like this and I love it. The food is great, the company's good, the service is incredible. It was the best diner food we've ever had. It's a little sleeper, you wouldn't know it. It was like, let's give it a shot and see, but it was amazing. Great food, uh, it's a nice atmosphere, lots of nice people. This is homemade food and it is delish. It's good, the best in town. It's good food. It's yummy. Crispy bacon, um, excellent hash browns, eggs done perfectly. My kids love their food, so highly recommend. We're gonna treat you like family, and I think that's why people love it so much. You can visit Jordan's Diner on Cleveland Road in Huron, and they're closed on Mondays. From Huron to Parma, Tony's Family Restaurant is a staple in the area. Check it out. Hi, how many today? Best breakfast in town. I feel like we're uh, kind of a staple in the community at this point. We have a ton of regulars. I've been coming here since I was 16 years old, believe it or not. When I used to cut school, I used to come here, and I'm 47 now, so 31 years. We're known for service. I'd say it's probably like the number one thing we're known for. 
When you come in here, there's just awesome energy. Everybody's happy. We joke around with each other all day. Um, they just love working with each other, and I think it's contagious. The customers notice, you know? I think they all leave here a little bit happier. They're crazy. <laughs> you see them firsthand. <laughs> we really have a good time from the start of the day to the, to the end. Good time here. Prices are great, friendly. Uh, coming here for 20 years almost. We know them so well. We know their families, we know their kids, their grandkids, uh, where they go to school, where they work. It makes it feel like it's not work. I've been born and raised here. It's a family place to go. It's great. Great neighborhood place, great food. Like I said, great service, great people. Been coming here for years. The Eggs Benedict is the best. Poached eggs. And fresh hollandaise sauce every day. Well, we come to Tony because we like the food here, and uh, we need our bellies full before we go out duck hunting. Very big portions, you get plenty. As I've been coming to this place now for the last 30 years, uh, basically because of the service, the people, and the food is good. I have a bologna and onion panini and hash browns. Right, this is the bologna and onion panini. Too thick it and cut it, Ricky. I thought it was double what I expected. He has to just keep loading my potatoes all day. A lot, a whole, a whole lot of potatoes. Over a thousand pounds a week, I'd say we use. I started working for Tony's uncle. Probably what? Well, right when he opened 20 some years ago. I love the people. I love coming in here and talking to everybody. Blueberry hotcakes. Eggs were perfect. The home fries were perfect. Everything was good. The great price. Well, I keep coming back to the place because my wife drives and I can. <laughs> Corned beef hash and eggs. It's really good. The Simmons Roll French Toast is my favorite. I need a muffin, please. Food's excellent. Um, never had a bad meal yet. Service is outstanding as well. The service here is really good. It's a nice place to come and spend time with friends. The food is good. The atmosphere is great. They're in trouble. They're bad. If you're in the area, come check them out. Stop in and see us at Tony's Family Restaurant. We'll take good care of you. Tony's Family Restaurant is open daily until 2 o'clock, and they're located on West Pleasant Valley Road, and that's in Parma. After the break, a restaurant where everything is made from scratch. Do you know someone going above and beyond in your community? We want to share their stories. Email us at newday at foxa.com. Welcome back to our New Day Diner Dash. If you're looking for a family-run restaurant for your next event or watch party, Natalie's got just the place. Are you looking for some good food, maybe a great place to watch a game, a watch party? Come to Ed's spot here in Brunswick. We're at Niners. This place is huge, Ed. Thank you. Yeah, it is. And I'm telling you, if, look at how many TVs they have up in this place. Constantly going, big screens, little screens. What I'm coming to find already is there's a lot of reasons why people probably want to stop in here. Yeah. You give us a lot to tempt the taste buds and to have some fun. Yeah, plus you want to have fun, yeah. I love it. So you have the buffet, so you can do events too? Yeah, we do events and mostly we do, or sometimes somebody will rent a restaurant out and we'll have a buffet for them. You know what I love places like this when they're mom, pop places? It's always based on a family, right? Yeah. And look what we have behind the bar here. We have Ed's whole family over there too. Hi guys! Hi. How are you? <laughs> I love it. So the food also a big deal here. And you do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. 
Do you, yeah. do you drive yourself crazy doing all of that? Sometimes, More, <laughs> mostly them. I'm, mostly the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome though. I sit down to all this great food. I saw someone eating a waffle before. I, was it the chicken and waffle that I probably saw? Yeah. Yep. We have a chicken and waffle we also have in Nashville, but this is our uh, regular chicken and waffle with a sriracha syrup. Mmm, and my whole life, let me tell you, eating buffalo chicken salads has been yep. one of my staples and go-tos, and this looks... Yeah, it's our Cobb salad. That's yep. your Cobb salad? Yep. Oh, great! Yeah. So I thought about... So it's not buffalo chicken? No, it's, this one's not buffalo chicken. Just that nice little orangey texture to yeah. it, though. It threw me off, yeah. but... Yep. I would like that just the same. Yep, that's all in the house you. too. So we bread it ourselves and regular chicken. So are frozen. these both lunch options, brunch options? Uh, these are mostly the salad you can get at any time. Okay. Uh, breakfast option. That's for a breakfast the, option. For the waffle. Yep. This that's has our, eggs on it. Is that a breakfast option? Yeah, that's breakfast. That's our breakfast burrito taco. And that has our smoked in-house uh, brisket. And our corn, roasted corn, eggs, and chipotle ranch, and the three blend cheese. Now, I don't know why I put this in front of you because I'm stealing it. Yeah. Are these fries this is, that are loaded with everything? Yeah, this is our breakfast routine. So it has oh. fries, yeah, onion, sausage, uh, sausage gravy, uh, french fries, obviously, and then holiday sauce. There's not too many places that make a good poutine around yeah. here, so that's fun that you do yeah. that. Yeah, we also Maybe do a brisket one for dinner. You do? Yeah. So, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you're here all day long. The fact that you've expanded, this you used to only have one side, Yeah, correct? it was a side over there. Yeah, we started out, opened up in 2018, and we just had the, the dining room side over there. So depending on the day of the week that you're here, you seem to really cater to the community with, again, different things. You're yeah. keeping us on our toes always. Yeah, we always we like to get back to them. It's, uh, it's, it's a good thing to do. They come in and frequent our restaurants uh, all the time, and they really supported us. And giving back is what we need to do. It's proper. Well, I love it. And Niners, if you're wondering how they got the name, which I did wonder, how did you come up with Niners? That's our last name. <laughs> Pretty, but you just use the number nine yeah, instead. We, yeah, change it with a number nine, yeah. And depending on what time of year you come, you have this awesome garage door, and this garage door turns into a TV as well? Yeah, so when you close the garage door, the screen's behind it, and then we pull it down so you have a 120-inch screen there too. And I'm sure for as many seasons as we can get it out, the patio's right there out front yeah. that you can utilize. Yeah. Heck, you yeah. probably have people in the middle of winter that still sometimes want yeah, to get out we, there. Yeah, we put igloos out there. Oh, you so, do yeah. in the winter yeah, too. Yeah, so we have two igloos out there, and then they uh, they come in and eat in the winter time. They eat out in the igloos. Well, let me just and say, and stay tuned as well because I know Wednesdays you're closed right yep. now. Yeah. But that could change. Yeah. <laughs> and they could be a seven day a week place. So just make sure before you stop, you know what day that you're here. They're closed on yep. Wednesdays for now, but you never know when this is on. This might have changed yep. since then. So. You cater to all of us at all times. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's a great spot in Brunswick. Yeah, we appreciate so it. So much that you offer. And here you have some good flights, too. So yeah, keep that in mind. If you ever flights. need a good flight yeah. of different libations, yeah. they got you covered. Yeah. Thank you so much oh, for having me well. in Thank today. You. Niners Diner and Pub is located on Pearl Road, and that is in Brunswick. Our next stop prides themselves in making everything from scratch. In fact, that's their name. We're headed to a scratch restaurant. So we uh, we opened in 2016. We uh, noticed that there was a lack of brunch spots that weren't doing things totally from scratch, which is something we're really passionate about here. So we launched and we take traditional dishes that people are familiar with and we put our own little spin on them. We do uh, French toast here. We don't do regular French toast. We do a big sheet of uh, bread pudding. And then we take that, we cut that down into smaller square sized pieces and we sear that. And then we add things like blueberry moonshine sauce to them. Or we do uh, a bana fresh bananas with uh, bourbon caramel sauce that goes on them as well. Steak and eggs, we do a hand cut ribeye and that gets topped with uh, salt, pepper and some chili rub and uh, some grilled onions, cilantro and some fresh squeezed lime juice. It's delicious. A big seller is our corned beef hash. We take a big old brisket, we brine it and then we take it off and we do some thick slices on it and we saute that with peppers and onions over our really crispy home fries topped with some eggs and that's been a huge hit around here. Um, people call, we had a couple here the other day that came from Youngstown just to come here to have the corned beef hash. So it's been a popular one, and so it's gone well. So 
also on the weekdays, we have a lot of like business clientele from up on Rockside Road that come down here. We have a lot of locals as well. But then on Fridays and Saturdays, a lot of the locals come out here and support us as well. And uh, man, it's it can be slamming. We could be on an hour wait, you know, Fridays and Saturdays, and even on the weekdays lately. During COVID, there were there were moments we thought, I I I don't know if we're gonna make it out of here. This is my only career path. This is my only income in my household. Um, it's still crazy to me to think that even in the position I was in, that I was still a lot better off than a lot of people all across the globe. So I, like four in the morning, I had this thought, if I ever, if we ever make it out the other side and we get through all this COVID stuff, shutdowns, um, inventory problems, staffing issues, if we ever get to the point where we're starting to come out of that, I wanna do something that's gonna help raise money for other people. And so with the banana bourbon French toast, uh, every time we sell one of those, we donate a dollar to Cleveland Homeless. Um, and the Compassion Burrito, which was just called the Breakfast Burrito back then, we renamed to the Compassion Burrito, and we do the same thing. We donate a dollar every time we sell one to children in poverty all across the globe. We love food. We love food, and we love quality food, and we love doing things from scratch. So the nice thing about doing things from scratch is I get to put my own little mark on it, right? And, uh, and the staff here, they all love the same thing. So it's great to, to feel like we've got a team that's able to come together, pull something out of the hat. We might find a recipe, play around with it, and say, hey, this would be a lot better if we incorporated mint or something weird, you know? And, and we try it out, and sometimes it's a miss, and sometimes it's a hit. So it's been a lot of fun. Scratch is located on Brexel Road in Independence, and they're closed on Sundays and Mondays. Still to come, we're serving up classic American eats. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland and our Diner Dash show. All American classics served in a friendly atmosphere, and that's what you'll find at Washington Street Diner. It's just a local place in Bainbridge. You know, most of the people are here almost at least once a week. A lot of people here every day. Some people order the same thing every day. Some people have been ordering the same thing every day for 16 years. Wednesday morning for many, many years has been our home away from home, our uh, sharing time, our helping out each other time, and the delicious food that we enjoy while we're here. Breakfast is eggs, pancakes, waffles. For lunch, it's salads, hamburgers, chicken sandwiches. We do specials. They have the best breakfast here. They're waffle. Their waffle's delicious. If, if it's after 9 a.m., I'll get a burger because he makes the we best burgers. The burgers. I love their burgers. Uh, it's just a wonderful place, and the specials here are awesome. We have a great staff. A lot of them have been here for almost as long as I have. Some since the same day I was here that I bought the place. Others for eight, nine, 10, 12 years. I cook here, I'm the grill cook. I've been cooking for years. I've been doing my thing for years. I'm, and um, I will pretty much run the line, the grill line all day long. I like the steps that, that, the items that it takes a lot to do. It makes, goes to show what kind of cook I really am, you know? Owner, owners. He's a great owner. One thing, he is a great owner. The people, is everybody like family here, and the, and the, the area. It's a great area to cook for too. And everybody that works here is absolutely wonderful. Molly and Sam and Curtis and and uh, everyone's just wonderful. Love the people who work here. Good conversation and good food. It feels like home. <laughs> Washington Street Diner can be found on Washington Street in Chagrin Falls, and they're open seven days a week until 2 o'clock. 
Well, here it is, folks. That's a wrap for our Diner Dash show. And if you didn't see your favorite breakfast spot on today's show, just let us know. You can email us at newday at fox8.com or reach out on our social media. I'm David Moss, and on behalf of Natalie Herbeck, yes, yes, we'll see you on the next New Day Cleveland.